Good morning, you guys. It's a beautiful new morning out. Well, it's not perfect out. It's been raining for a few days, but it's not a total soaker. You can see where the ground is dry. I have the truck parked. Everything else is pretty wet. So here's the job and here's the challenge. We've got some extra dirt and I've been working on grading out this site, but this isn't premium dirt. This is actually compost material that we literally harvested off from the farm out of the ground so it's rough it's uneven it's not been screened and so what we're going to do today is we're going to use the asv we're going to get all of the general contours set down here we're going to get all the general contours set up top with the skid loader and then we're going to try out a brand new attachment something that i've never tried before and i don't know how this is going to work we're going to put a hydro bucket on a mini loader and in theory the hydro bucket that part should still work but the mini loaders i've never been good at grading with a mini loader i find them frustrating time consuming but we're gonna give this one a shot just to see if it works nothing more just to see if it works we gotta add some dirt up in there we gotta fix all of these grades so Let's go through, start touching some stuff up, and let's uh, let's do a finished grade job today. Uh, we got more water. And it looks like it rained pretty much all day yesterday, but we got sandy soils, so we'll see how well that works in our advantage. It cleaned off the ASV. Okay, let's see how my son loaded this thing. He was the last one to drive it. How much fuel did he? Uh, three quarters tank, not bad. I'll take that any day of the week. Alright, let's get to work. Okay, so I think this might be a nice spot to show you guys a little trick I use. You see how I kind of got this dirt to almost be at the exact same height as the grass? We're over here, we got this kind of ridge. You can see where it goes instead of feathering into nothing. The trick to get it to feather is just to put the bucket ahead of the dirt, get the back of the bucket. So this is the back, this is the front get the back of the bucket ahead of the dirt, put it down, and then your back of your bucket will grab all of this dirt and pull it backwards. And then you use the front to feather. So you're grabbing with this part of the bucket, you're carrying it under the machine, and then you're feathering the front to just release enough so that it'll blend and disappear into nothing.
What do you got, baby? Show me what you got. What did you bring home? Okay, let's go see what I just saw you bringing home. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Where is it? What is this? That's a black squirrel. That's a fully dead one. Thanks, baby. It's not a job site unless you come bringing me a special treat. Thank you, baby. No more. No more. So our goal with the ASV is not to finish grade, although it may look like we're finished grading. What we're doing is we're getting the contour set. Let's talk about what that means. It's like right down there, there was a swale, an unintentional swale, divot. If it's intentional, we call it a swale. If it's unintentional, we'll call it not a swale. So there was a divot and there was some unevenness in the ground. And the ASV, all we're doing is getting everything set so that we can then come in with the mini and we can start to incorporate, because this right now is kind of bass backwards, right? You guys, we got to incorporate this ground together by smooth grading this this topsoil or compost material out over the subgrade like this. So what I'm talking about is grass is gonna have a hard time. It, kill, it could grow, but this is not the ideal medium. And what we wanna do is we wanna uh, take it to the next step. That's what the next attachment will do. It'll till everything together. It'll bring that sand up. It'll bring the black dirt down. It'll mix it all together. And in theory, it should erase all of the the lines that we're creating and just make everything flow together seed bed prep step seed bed prep step it's the final seed bed prep step So before we hook it up, let's take a look at it. It's a hydro bucket for a mini loader. Uh, what a hydro bucket is, if you guys aren't aware of it, it's a regular bucket, but then it's got a Harley rake or a power rake built right into the back of it. You can scoop and carry like a bucket. And then right down on the back side of it, you hit your button inside. Once you're done, drop your material off. You can Harley rake it out. It's actually really clever. But I just don't know how well it'll work on a mini. Now they claim it will. Derek, the owner, says tons of people are buying these hydro buckets. More than, uh, I don't know if he said more than what they do for regular skid loaders or not. I don't know if that could be, I can't imagine more people buying mini hydro buckets than regular size ones. But in my world, I would have never imagined using a mini for anything. Now I love them. One of my five favorite machines of all time. Of forever. I mean, this little tiny baby thing ranks right up there with the Komatsu D41P Dozer. I call them the one track wonder, but they were awesome. Wonder because they had power to one track. Always helps if you have a key. How many times I've driven 15, 20 miles to a job site? Just to have forgotten the key, but not today. Ah, you guys thought I forgot the key. What, is, what are you guys see? That's what you get for thinking. Secret key. It's got a red key. I'm not gonna show you where that goes. You can probably imagine since I'm sticking it in someplace on the back side of the machine. But that's a secret. Do you know what that does? That's the kill switch.
Now there's two things I gotta do to optimize this bucket on the Mini. First one is make sure that I get my angles right because this will allow me to control how deep I grade, but also I've got a one pump and a two pump option. So I'm gonna go to two pump. That'll get that drum spinning as fast as possible and then I'm gonna throttle it all the way up even though I don't need a lot of power. The engine needs a lot of flow and that's gonna increase the flow. So she's gonna run a little bit high. Look at this. If you were a seed, do you think you'd like this dirt? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, come on. You guys are just as excited about dirt as I am. You know it. You sit there watching me on your phone or your tablet or eating your popcorn on the TV. You know you guys like this black dirt as much as I do, right? Please don't disappoint me. Please say yes. Yes, we love it. Stay well, it's so light that it's not impacting the grade. So I can prep the ground. Never thought of that. Nice light machine, hydro bucket, preps the ground, doesn't leave ruts. Let's keep going. It's actually working, so I think it might be fair to give this thing a chance to work the way it should without all that crap being boogered up underneath it. I mean, I thought this was going to be just a... And then we're back to the ASV. That's not the case. So let's get this thing working at 100% and clean this crap out of here. better. Hey, let's see how that works now, huh?
That's all the rope I've gathered just in a few passes. I'm gonna go get a utility knife. I was using the sawzall earlier. I was using the flex sawzall, but you can use a knife would probably be just fine. But I cut all the nasty stuff out before. <laughs> what did that take like? Just these passes right here? Well, that rope isn't bad as long as it stays buried. It's when it comes up to the surface that it gets to be a pain in the butt. That worked way better than I thought it was gonna, Frankie. Dude, that's like perfect seed bed prep. And if it's too like, like right there, it's a little bit too packed. Yeah. I just use a little bit more down pressure and put the back of the bucket down. Oh, so dig deeper. And I can dig it deep. I can till it up. That's what I was doing down there. I kind of had a hard ridge. I couldn't work out, so I just hit that ridge and ground it down a little bit, and then was able to move it. I think that's ready for seed down there. I'm just gonna blend it this way. Look at how good of a job this did. That hydro bucket did. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible for me to like a hydro bucket anymore, but I uh, never would have thought that machine could grade like this. Of course, now it, it does it does put all of the stuff you don't want in one nice little area. Makes it easier for us to pick up. Doesn't make it disappear. So if that's what you were aiming at, you're like, oh, why can't it just make all the stuff I don't want disappear? Well, when when CMP makes that attachment, I'll make sure to let you guys know. All right, we got that finish graded. This isn't even close. And we're running out of daylight already. So let's quick whip this out. Let's get this done so we can come over here and use the mini to finish grade it. I think my son is, my son is enjoying the equipment operation lessons he's been getting this Memorial Day weekend. We came up by ourselves Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He's been in equipment every day.
All right, you guys, I think uh, while we do the seeding part, you don't need to see that video because you guys have already seen how to seed a lawn. We're getting this all set up, but boy, look at how well this hybrid bucket grades. What do you guys think? Does it work? My, my opinion is this works way better than I ever thought it was going to work. I figured this was going to be just stupid because I, you know, because it doesn't really float and your ability to contour and I don't know, just, okay, wrong. I like being wrong. I was wrong. This is wrong, but this job is looking nice. It really is. She's looking good. Hopefully you like it, you guys. God bless you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. We're going to keep going. We got a lot more work to do. And hopefully we'll, we'll see you on the next one. Hit that subscribe button. God bless you guys. Go get them.